All right, friends, we are gonna do a little bit of science. So we're in a brand new chapter. So we finished talking about sound and we remember that sound is a type of energy that you can hear. Very good. So we're gonna talk about more, more about energy in this chapter. We're gonna talk about energy in motion. So what, we're, what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna just show you a few things. I'm not really gonna tell you a lot about it. I want you to think when I do these things, what does it make you think of? What do you know about it? What have you heard about it? And we're gonna go from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I just, I have a ball, I have a basketball. I stole it from the fifth grade room. And I'm gonna take my ball and I'm gonna push on it and I'm gonna send it over to the other side. And I'm gonna pull this table this way so you can see what happens when it gets to the end. All right, are you ready? You can make a prediction. What do you think is probably gonna happen to this ball? You probably heard, it went all the way to the other side. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna change something. I have an ordinary blanket. Don't worry, I'm not doing a magic trick. I'm gonna take the blanket and I'm just gonna change the surface a little bit. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take the ball, the same ball. I'm gonna roll it again. I want you to just notice what happens if things are the same or different. So the ball is off to the side. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this around a few different ways. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna push it. Then I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna do it one more time. Think about what's happening and what I'm doing. Next, what I want you to do is I want you to take page 101. I'm gonna get out of the light there. Page 101 in your science workbook pages that you brought home. And this is the first page like we have, we do these all the time. So we have a few things up here. These are the things that are gonna be in this chapter. We have force, friction, gravity, motion, and work. So what I want you to do, so it tells you put an X in the first column, if you've never heard it before, put an X in the second column if you have heard it before. And then if you have heard it, or if you haven't, tell me what you think it means. So when we hear force, we can think in general what we think it means. So maybe you immediately went to Star Wars and you thought of the force, or maybe you thought of me forcing you to do science when you're at home, or maybe you thought about something being forced in one direction, maybe with a push or a pull. Friction. What do you think about? Do you think about heat? Do you think about two things rubbing together? Gravity. We probably should all have a thought that comes to our head pretty quickly when we think of gravity. We should think of things dropping. For example, if I picked up this bin of books and I dropped it, something's going to happen. It might be a little loud. Here we go. I'm going to do it one more time. The books were here. I let go and they fell. Something was pushing or pulling them down. We'll talk more about it as we go on. Then we have motion and work. Try not to think of work like I have to do work in my workbook right now, but think about what it might mean in terms of science in this chapter, energy in motion. The last thing I want you to do, I want you to name three kinds of energy. You might be able to do this from our chapters before, you might not. I want you to see what you remember, put it down. Then as we go on in the chapter, we're gonna see if we were right, if we were wrong, or if we need to make changes. This chapter is going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that you can kind of get into some materials at home and do a couple of different experiments and demonstrations to see how these different things work. I'm also gonna send you a couple of links for different videos that you can watch. There are a lot of really cool science experiments that people have already done that have to do with friction and gravity and force and motion. And so make sure you ask your parents before you try any of these, but we're going to get into some of this in this chapter. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun.